I'm so excited. Today is the day that I finally try Marion's pho soup dumpling recipe. I might tweak it a little bit here and there. It's quite the journey from making your own dumpling wrappers to the soup dumpling itself, but I think it's gonna be worth it. And I'm really, really stoked because pho is probably my favorite food ever. The first thing I'm gonna do is start with the broth. The broth, I think, is gonna take the longest. You have to let it sit in the fridge for two hours once it's done and combined with gelatin powder so that it can become this jelly that we're gonna eventually stuff into the dumplings. So we're gonna do that. I have my own quick and dirty pho recipe, so I'm probably just gonna follow mine and stick to what I know. First thing you wanna do is add two cups of water. Two. Eh, we'll just make it three. This right here is the quick and dirty way to create a delicious pho broth. So I'm just adding that into the broth. I'm gonna add half an onion, four small slices of ginger, three star anise, seven cloves, one cinnamon stick. Then I'm gonna do like three tablespoons of fish sauce. I'm gonna do like a pinch of salt and then a pinch of brown sugar because there's a lot of saltiness going on in there so we have to balance out the flavors a little. Now I'm just gonna turn the heat down a bit and let that simmer for 20 minutes or so. I'm just gonna take my broth and strain it here into a shallow dish. I'm gonna set the broth aside and let it cool because it has to be hot but not piping hot when we add the gelatin powder. I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of gelatin powder. Let's hope I eyeball this correctly. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of water, just enough to saturate the whole thing. And then give this a mix. Now that this is all combined, I'm just gonna let it rest in the fridge for two hours. have about 30 minutes left. So while I wait for the gelatin to do its thing, I'm going to start making some of the dumpling wrappers. And this is actually really easy. All you need is all-purpose flour, hot water, and regular water. Apparently, making your own dumpling wrapper is the key to making the perfect soup dumpling. So in my mixing bowl, I'm gonna take about a cup and a quarter cup of flour. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of hot water three tablespoons of room temp water. And now I'm just gonna knead this with my hands. Get a nice sprinkle of flour and knead this until it's smooth. Whew, this is a workout. I'm just gonna wrap this super tight now and then I'm just gonna let this sit out for about 45 minutes to an hour. This dough has been sitting for over an hour now, so it's very ready. Just cut it into like little pieces, like so. I love dumplings, and dumplings honestly remind me of my childhood because my family used to make dumplings while watching TV. There we go. That's a good one. We'd sit on the floor and crank out like a hundred dumplings at a time. Ground pork is in. I'm adding the green onions we chopped. I'm kind of freestyling with this part, but I want to add some cilantro in here. I'm not even going to chop it. I'm just going to rip it apart. Grate some ginger, some garlic. Now I'm adding a dash of fish sauce. And I'm just gonna mix all of that in now. I took out the broth and it's fully jello now. Look at that jiggle jiggle. The money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. Ooh. I'm so scared, I don't trust it. Oh, sheesh. 
I'm just gonna cut cubes into this so we add it in the dumpling filling. Wow, can't believe this is straight up pho broth. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is add these cubes in and then we're gonna mix this in with the pork. You just wanna infuse everything together so that every bite of the dumpling has a good amount of that broth. Right, I think that's good enough for me. And now we're gonna get to assembling. Oh my gosh, we're nearing the end. I've gotta be very honest with you guys. I have never made pleated dumplings. So this is probably not gonna look good, but I'm gonna try my best. This is the ugliest freaking dumpling I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. So bad, oh my gosh, so bad. I'm a disgrace, but I think it'll taste good, okay? I just need one pretty dumpling and I'll be happy because everything I'm making is so bad. Like, please, just give me one good one. Oh, no, this is no good. Honestly, I'm so hungry. I just need to get this over with. Okay, this one kind of looks legit. Okay, a few more. Come on, Frisia, you got this. Honestly, no one taught me how to do this ever. Eh, no, it's not happening. That's really bad. All right, not, they're not pretty. I'm just telling you now. I'm gonna let these guys cook for about eight minutes. Moment of truth. Oh, wow. They weren't that pretty when I was folding them, but I mean, they look legit now. Wait, holy shit. I can't believe I just made soup dumplings. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna garnish it now with some cilantro just to make it look a little prettier. Some of these hot peppers. Wow. I did that. I made this. Holy, finally time to taste this. I've worked on this for hours, practically all day. I'm about to go in. Oh my gosh. So I have some black vinegar here with ginger. Oh. Soup first. Bruh. I'm shocked, oh my gosh. Oh wow, this is incredible. Mm. This is probably the best thing I ever made, hands down. Oh my gosh. This recipe is definitely a must try. I'll link it down below. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching and I'm gonna inhale the last two dumplings right now. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you.